Hello there, good afternoon and welcome to Combank um, Stadium. Uh, I'd just like to start by acknowledging uh, the Darug people who are the traditional owners of the land in which we meet today and pay our respects to um, their emerging elders past and present. My name is Tristan McManus from Network 10 and I'm here for the same reason that you are and that I wish it was Saturday because it's Sydney Derby week um, and it's been absolutely everywhere. Back in November, it's almost three months to the day, back in November, um, 34,000 people came to the Alliance to show us just how much it means. And it looks like it's gonna be a sellout here again on Saturday. I cannot wait for it. Two great teams in Sydney here, two on form at the moment as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be buzzing. It's so much more than a game of football. It's so much more than three points. And I just can't wait for it. Uh, we're joined today uh, by head coach of Western Sydney Wonders, Marco Rodan, and Yeni Imbagoto, or Begolzo, as he is recently. He's on fire. And of course, from Sydney FC, we've got Steve Corrigan and Andrew Redmayne as well. So I'm going to ask the boys a couple of questions first, and then I'll open it up to yourselves. Um, and we'll get going from there. Um, thanks, everyone, for being here. Marco, I'll start with yourself. You're a proud Western Sydney boy. You've, you've filled your squad um, with boys from, from the area as well and the, and the players that you've come in, you've really sold them on what this means. Um, how proud are you going into this weekend representing Western Sydney and, and your club? Yeah, I think that goes without saying. I, I said it as soon as I, I came to the club that it's personal for, for, for myself. I understand the people of the West, I understand um, you know, what they've gone through and. And, uh, and they still go through. And, and I continue to tell that story to, to my players and everybody associated and attached to the football club because only then do you understand exactly what this area represents and, and, and who we're doing it for. And, and this game in particular is one that it's not about so much about us, uh, the playing group or the players. You know, we, there's, a, there's a, a bigger reason uh, as far as we're concerned, and that's, and that's for, for our area and that's for the people of our area and our, and our fans. And. Um, and it's, and it's quite powerful as far as I'm concerned. And um, yeah, like I said, it's, a, it's an important one for them. And, and I'm one of them and, and I understand them completely. Great. Uh, Yenny, how's the week been for you? I mean, you, you got uh, maybe five or six minutes in the last game in Allianz. This will be your first Sydney Derby at home as well. The atmosphere, certainly for me when I've been here after every game, you see what it means to the fans. What type of atmosphere are you expecting um, on Saturday? Um, we know we have a big fans. Uh, the club is more than, more than a football club, you know. Uh, the community behind us is huge. You cannot, I, could, I couldn't imagine this when I signed here, but when my, like Marco said, it's a huge community. It's a huge club. It's a huge privilege to be here. So yes, I expect a lot of people to come in the stadium to support us. Uh, I know it's going to be a big game. And uh, yes, I'm excited to, to be part of. And uh, like you said, yes, I uh, play a few minutes uh, in the first round. And, uh, and yeah, uh, now it's going to be in our stadium. It's going to be like, I think, amazing. So I'm looking forward to, to play this game. Your form has been great. Your confidence must be sky high as well. You haven't been out of the top three for the whole season as well. Um, do you carry that through? I mean, there's obviously a, a certain amount of nerves that are involved as well. But, but for all the players that are coming back, the squads are set now. Are you, the new boys who've come in, I mean, are, are, are you pumping them up as much as everyone else is pumping you? Yes, of course. Uh, since day one, I think, you know, we, we have a big change in, in this club. Uh, new players come in. So, yes, the new players uh, also join us. So they feel like family. I think for me, uh, the most important thing in the club is, is a family. So everyone who joined the club is part of the family. So, yes, uh, I think we're all exciting to, to play this kind of the game. We all uh, want to win this game. And uh, yes, we are in good form at the moment. We need to, to continue like this. We're still um, building, we're still growing. So we need to be, we know we have to be better, but so far I think um, we did very well and we need to continue like this, simple of this. Great stuff. Uh, Steve, your own team, you've built up great momentum the last couple of weeks. I mean, two of my favourite games so far this season have included both of you guys against the Mariners. Fantastic game against the Mariners last week. Um, how have the preparations been? I mean, we see how far running a string of games together goes. Two on the bounce, yeah. looking for three? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we look, we're looking forward to, the, obviously, the weekend. Uh, Saturday night against a uh, you know, very good team, a very informed team as well. Um, Sydney in second, which are four points in front of us. So, you know, the, obviously the table is very tight from sixth to second. 
Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge. Last week against Central Coast, you know, there was, there was a different challenge. They're, they're a good team as well, very attacking team. So, um, but yeah, we put a couple of wins together, which we're very proud of, and uh, we can build from that, obviously, back into the top six, which is, which is good. But we want to continue that. And um, yeah, it's obviously a, a very good uh, game to do it in against the Wanderers. Great stuff. Yeah, a win uh, puts you a point behind the Wanderers at the moment. What do you feel as though the difference has been in the last couple of weeks? Because you've been great, playing great football. Just a bit of consistency now, is it? It is a bit of consistency, a bit of belief. Um, also, I've spoken about it before. Obviously, having our captain back as well um, tightens up our defence, um, which is which is great. Which is probably where we were conceding a little bit too many goals. Uh, we're starting to slow that down, and we're still scoring goals, which is good. But. Uh, Obviously, the attacking side of things has been good, um, and we want to continue that. Uh, we want to score more goals and be attacking. We want to excite uh, the fans, but also we we want to stop the goals. And defensively, is a is a key against these guys. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to Saturday. Great stuff. Um, Red, I'll go to you for a second. Uh, you've played in many derbies, played the Melbourne derby as well. Just how big is this? I heard you talking about it before, saying it's, it's probably more intense the Sydney derby. What, what's it like for you having played on both sides? Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, uh, football is always like playing big games, um, sold out, sold out stadiums and, and the like. So, yeah, th- I think this weekend will be no different to that. The players will be up for it, and I, I, I certainly know that there'll be a certain feeling within the stadium. And yeah, I encourage everyone out to come and um, experience that unique kind of experience that you, you don't get in any other sporting context in Australia. So, yeah, it's it's certainly got the stage. Um, you know, everything's there for it to be a, a real kind of showcase on Saturday. Great. Everyone, both clubs have been a little bit cheeky social media-wise coming up into this. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's building the atmosphere for it as well. I heard um, Lafondre come out saying that he, he wants the abuse. He wants to take it. What, what, what's it like being in a stadium like this when you know how intense both sets of fans are? These are the games you want to play, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, uh, you want to play the big games. You want to test yourself against the best. And um, like I said, uh, all, the, all the key ingredients are here for, for a, you know, a cracker on Saturday night. So... I know if we bring our best football, it's going to hold us in good stead, and I really hope uh, you know we get a, a nice little pocket of, of sky blue here, and um, that, that'll help be our, our twelfth man on, the, on Saturday. Right, so geez, I wish it was Saturday already. Uh, I'm going to open it up now for some real uh, journalist questions. Uh, if anyone wants to start with that one, anyone have any questions for the boys? Um, it, it was part of the recruitment process as well. Is you know, as far as I'm concerned, at this club, you need two key ingredients. And that's um, performance and personality. A lot of expectations at this club. Maybe the players in the past who've worn this jersey haven't lived up to those expe- expectations. Good players as well, but like I always say, there are certain players that can play for big clubs like Sydney FC and ours, but probably struggle um, or play well at smaller clubs that struggle to come to bigger clubs, right? But um, you know, we we. I was very intent on making sure you got the right personalities. They're big players. They've played in big arenas around the world, and you know you talk about the guy to my right, and but not just him, but you know players like Cassini Yangi as well. He's a young kid, but he's got a lot of confidence, and there are confidence about him. The bigger the stage, the better. I guess that's also a bit of a downfall for us because we've almost struggled at times against the lesser kind of opponents. But you know these kind of games, I don't worry at all about them because. You don't have to say too much to them. They 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 love the occasion and they're always up for it. Yeah, well, like I said, it was you know when you when you understand the area and the people and <clears throat> it's different, you know. And and um, you know I've, I've walked through the streets. You know, I've played played for Sydney FC, so I understand that area as well. But and, and they are they are a divide, and, and I speak to all my players and I educate them on on the divide. And, and there's a clear disparity there between the people that live in the east and the people that live in the worst. You know, it's the classic blue collar versus the white collar. Um, and you know, I, I've said it before, and I said it after the game, and we when we beat um, Sydney FC in the, on their turf as well. It's it, this is for the people. You know, they 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 feel downtrodden. They feel like they're you know a lesser of the two. Um, in society as well, and, and it happened when I was growing up, um, and it certainly is the case right now. You know, you're looking at an area that's 
Um, that's done it tough. You know, Bimby will tell you as well. I mean, he played a lot of his football at Marconi in the, in the West as well. So he, he, he doesn't understand what I'm talking about. But uh, it's something that sort of stays with you um, as, as you go through life. It just makes you stronger. Uh, you're able to overcome obstacles a lot easier because of, because of all those reasons as well. And, and that's what our people are about. The fans or the fans were coming. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Oh look, yeah, I, I, yeah. It was, uh, you know, our fans. We were waiting for them to come out and, and, and clap their support. You know, when the boys went, went to warm up, but there was no, no one there because heard, we heard there were a lot of problems with the turnstiles and stuff like that. Um, that won't be the case for this travelling Sydney FC fans. We, we don't want to play those kind of games, but um, we're just a bit, a bit disappointed about that. But. You know, all those kind of messages that filter through just gives us that extra motivation anyway. I mean, it's our home turf. It's in terms of the way we want to play. We're, I've always said we're a team that's going to evolve into the team that we've become the last two or three weeks. We're starting to play uh, a lot more fluent, um, a lot more with the ball, creating a lot more chances as well. Um, but we're also very, very hard to break down. We're very organised defensively. Um, but like I said, there's been an emphasis more on with the ball um, than there has, let's say, in pre-season or, or the first part of the season. No, I don't, I don't bring in players just to freshen up a squad. You bring in players to add quality and add, add to what you've got already, and, and he certainly does that. And he, like I said, it takes a bit of time for, for the players from overseas to, to acclimatise. He's come from an extreme winter to a pretty hot, hot summer here. Um, you know, the jet lag as well, but he's moving really well. We, we had a look at all, all the data on him, including the games that he played in the seconds over there. So he's not too far away at all. Um, you know, and, he, and he could start on, on Saturday night. Yeah, but they all are, you know, and, and, and Nico was, was fantastic in the first game. And like I said, he, he had a few little niggly injuries and, you know, we, we've taken our time with him. We don't want to risk um, anyone, particularly players like, like Milos, but he, he'll be part of the game as well on Saturday. And Yeni, with your uh, form, you could have scored three last weekend. They have a couple of saves from, uh, from the keeper, but uh, do you like a bit more responsibility up front? Is that what's happening with your role at the Cruise? Yes. Um, I'm a leader naturally, so yes, I try to to give my best also for the for the team. And uh, like the coach say, we are good form in the in the moment. We're playing fluid football, so it's good. So everyone is confident. So I'm confident too. So yeah, now um, I'm getting fitter because I have also some issues uh, uh, before, so I, I couldn't like be 100%. So now I'm feeling very good, and uh, around me also the players are very good and uh, they trust me and I trust them so like I say yes it's the part of the game so I need to bring my experience my quality also for the for the squad to 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 win the game simply yeah definitely um, you know we we didn't start uh, the season that well, but we're growing, we're building, we've got a lot of belief, uh, especially I have a lot of belief in the players that we've got there, uh, with the added one that we brought in in January with Joel King, uh, which is great. Um, so yeah, obviously we're trying to get the three in a row. Um, it's a big game, uh, everyone knows that. It's an exciting game as well. It's the one game that everyone looks forward to, obviously. Um, so we're looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, you know, it's the right time of year to start playing and, and winning games, uh, the running home. Obviously, we're, I think we're in a, actually a decent position now to strike. And, um, you know, we just take one game at a time, really. Concentrate on this game first, trying to pick up three points, and then we worry about next week. So um, yeah, I'm happy with the last two performances has been uh, really promising. Some great goals, uh, defensively a lot better, and you know you can see the confidence in the players after the last couple of weeks. There's a real belief now, and um, it's the right time to, to come into this game. I think.
this is what they look forward to. <laughs> this is the challenges of, of coming away from home uh, in a stadium like this. So it's something we relish. Uh, I'm sure the players are, are really looking forward to it. Um, it's not the first time we've played in front of big crowds. Um, so, yeah, I think our boys look forward to it. Um, obviously, we hope there's a massive crowd and it's full house from, from their side and, and the most from ours as well because that's what brings out the best in both teams. The passion from the supporters uh, is something special in this game. So, obviously, we want our supporters to get right behind us, but I'm sure they do as well. They're both passionate about this game and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, he's you know he's a goal scorer and he's scoring goals now and his confidence is high, his body is is uh, is really good as well at the moment. Uh, he, he's fresh going into games. Uh, he's taking his chances. Uh, we're actually creating good chances for him, I think, is the the difference as well. So, um, yeah, obviously he'll be looking forward to this game as well, going into it after two promising games from him and scoring in both games. So he'll be looking, looking forward to this one. He's only two behind Brusky as well. He's been top scorer in the derby, so I imagine he's got right. that in his mind as yeah, well. well. I'm sure he has. <laughs> Knowing Adam, he would have. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he's a lot better. Um, he was struggling last week, and that's why we had him on the bench. I thought he did a really good job when he came off the bench and, and dominated in what we needed uh, him to do. So yeah, he'll be back this week and and uh, up for it. I think I think in a football season you can't dwell on things too um, too long. So when you when you think back, I guess it does hurt. But um, you know it's just an exciting prospect to I guess put things right on Saturday. Having Alex Wilkinson back at the back has that made a difference for you, for you as the keeper? Or what have you yeah, I love having Wilkes back. Having um, you know someone I look up to as a player and also as, as a person and a captain, it's 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 amazing to have his presence on the field. So. To, to you know again get a get a derby win for him on Saturday would be a, you know a momentous occasion for him more than uh, anyone in the team I think. Class, I'm buzzing. I can't wait for Saturday. And if you haven't already, vote on Yeni for uh, Goal of the Month. It was an absolute classic. Um, it's going to be a great game on Saturday. There's only a couple of tickets left. No doubt they're going to be gone. Um, but look, if you can't make it to the match, make sure you check it out on Ten Ball and Paramount Plus. Like I say, thanks to everyone for showing up today. Um, it's great to have two. I better say three because I know my character as well. Having two very successful teams in Sydney at the moment going head to head, it's, it's going to be a great game on Saturday. Thank you guys very much. Get out of the rain. Thanks very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>